Retake number 572 on the tip of the week. What is going on? Ah, uh, it's good to be back. Um, Buck here with Holly Creek Outdoors. We've been down here in the shop this afternoon. If I don't hit the trolling motor. <laughs> Doing a little... Um, learning how to tie knots. Bowen had a little issue last summer when we were food doing some fishing. I say last summer. I use this knot a lot during the year. The knot is the loop knot. It's a knot that I tie on a lot of different things. And I mean, a lot of people understand and know that anything without a split ring, um, any kind of walking bait, any kind of jerk bait, soft or hard jerk bait, um, and tell you a funny story. While we were going over this earlier, Bowen asked, what about a bass jig? Because he was thinking about crappy jigs. And the crappy fishermen use this knot all the time to get that extra bite. Give that bait a little more finesse in the water. <laughs> but, no. I, I like a direct tie to a bass jig. You can try it. It may work out. But I like a direct line tie to my jig. Uh, swimming or dragging on the bottom. But, guys, this is a knot that can get you that extra bite. And really got me thinking about it while we were down here. We were just talking um, with some of these finesse techniques. That, that everybody uses now. Uh, we don't use them a lot. Uh, we do do some Cinco's and stuff like that, skipping and flipping. Um, and even those, uh, put, a, put a loop knot on it, give it that extra flutter as it's going down underneath the dock. You never know. It could draw the strike from that six, seven pounder that you're looking for, a five pounder. Uh, it could be in the middle of a tournament. You need a two, two and a half pounder to cull that pound and a half fish that's in the live wheel. It can do that. Um, but it's a knot to not look over. Um, no pun intended. Uh, get y'all hooked up so we can show y'all how to tie this loop knot. It is a very simple, very simple loop knot. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's very efficient, very quick, fast tying. If you're in the middle of a school fish and you got to hit it, if you're in a tournament um, and you're retying stuff and you're in a hurry, it's a very easy knot to tie. And I'm going to have to re-spool my reel after all the takes it took to... Uh, Filming this video for y'all guys. So I hope y'all appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, y'all didn't see me just throw that idea. I'll clean that up later. <clears throat> what you want to do is take your lure. And y'all didn't see this lure. Um, this is one of my go-to baits. I'll get to a little bit later on this year um, before I get sidetracked. Take your lure. Take your line. And what you want to do is go straight through, through the eye. There we go. Keep your two fingers over here on, which would be y'all's right, my left. Keep them right there. For, then they're going to play an important role here in a second. Keep dragging your tag line. Tag that that tag way on there. Give yourself some room, especially if you're just learning to tie this. Um, the more the merrier, it makes this loop a little bigger, and you'll see. And especially with a bait that's got three sets of triple hooks on it, you're going to want some extra tag line. So what we do then is we've got our bait pinched right on the eye. So my line won't won't fall and go out. It, it's it's secure right there. At that point, I want to grab the blower with my other hand, keeping these two fingers pinched on the line as I pull the bait and the line through my hand. Now I've drug a little bit extra, so let me back up. You want to go, and and you'll see as you do this more and more, you'll kind of judge how much you need. Now what we want to do is we got it pinched. We're going to rotate our hand to this side of the line and take these three fingers. And I know that one in the center is kind of messed up. We're gonna wrap, if I can get that other line out of the way, we're gonna wrap the lure around those fingers. All right? And what it does is creates a pocket in the palm of my hand. And what I wanna do now is come through that pocket without putting one of these sets of trebles in my finger, just like that. And as we come out, we're gonna pinch right here where the square knot's getting created. Cause all this is guys is just a normal square knot. We wanna hold that knot just like that. And we're gonna slide it down a little bit. We're not gonna wet it quite yet. Um, just cause there's way too much stuff going on. Once we get a little smaller, we'll wet it and finish it out. We get it to right here. Now comes the wetting time. Wet your line. Again, don't let the knot move. Because what we're trying to accomplish here is about a, a half to a three-quarter inch loop is all you're needing. So we'll grab the nut and the bait with the same hand, and then we'll tug with the other hand. Keep pulling, keep pulling till it goes tight. It's good and tight, good and firm. 
we'll find our main line, not our tag line, but our main line. Give it a tug, make sure it doesn't break. I'd rather it break right now than when I hook that six, seven pounder, five pounder, uh, whatever it may be. I'd rather it break right now in my hand than when I hook that fish. So once it's good and tight, then we'll go in here and we'll cut this tag off of it. Uh, if I can find my scissors. A buddy of mine always said, cut the tag line off so it doesn't tickle their nose when they get ready to bite. <laughs> All right. Instead of lying over here, guys, make sure you put that in the trash can. Dispose of it. Don't throw it out in the environment, please. But right there, we have our loop knot. And if you look real close, you can see, you can see where the knot is and the eye. And it's, it's a loop in between there. And it allows this bait to move freely. Every time I twitch it, swim it, pause it, stop it, this bait's going to do whatever it wants to do without me constricting it anyway whatsoever. But that's it guys. It's just that simple. It's that efficient. It's that fast to tie on. I know it can't be used on every lure and every application, but there are certain situations where you can use it and it helps. It helps a lot. All right, guys. Well, I hope that tip helps. And until next time, God bless. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.